There are three muscles in the posterior compartment of the thigh. First, we will indicate the semimembranous muscle. This muscle arises from the upper lateral part of the ischial tuberosity. Its insertion is into a horizontal groove on the back of the medial condyle of tibia. The next muscle to be indicated is the biceps femoris and, as its name implies, consists of two heads. Short head of biceps femoris arises from the lower part of the lateral lip of linea aspera and upper two-third of the lateral supracondylar line. Long head of biceps femoris arises from the lower medial part of the ischial tuberosity. The two heads unite in the lower third of the thigh to form a conjoint tendon, which inserts onto the head of fibula. The third and last muscle to be indicated in the posterior compartment of the thigh is the semitendinosus muscle. This muscle arises along with the long head of biceps femoris from the lower medial part of the ischial tuberosity. It is fleshy in the upper part and forms a cord-like tendon in the lower part, which lies on the semimembranosus muscle. Its insertion is into the upper part of the medial surface of the tibia behind the insertion of sartorius and gracilis muscles. Regarding the innervation of the muscles in the posterior compartment of the thigh, keep in mind that all of them are supplied by the tibial division of the sciatic nerve, with the exception of short head of biceps femoris, which is supplied by the peroneal division of the sciatic nerve.